Okay, constructing a parallelogram. Now, it's not actually the hardest thing in the world. It's actually pretty doggone simple. I'm just going to start off with a line. I'll draw it however long I really want to. We'll say it's just something like, oh, I don't know, we'll just say that. I don't know. All right, there we go. I got a line. Hooray. And I'm going to consider this line the base of my parallelogram. Um, you probably have a length that you may want to use. Uh, let's say, just I'll arbitrarily say, I want my endpoints of the base to be here and there. All right. So I've got my two endpoints. We'll call this A, call that B, and we'll call it good. Now, the good thing about constructing a parallelogram is you can really make it as high or not high, whatever, uh, as you want. Uh, totally up to you if you are limited by the amount of space you have. Like, for example, I have plenty of space up here, but if you're limited, that's fine. You can just, you can evaluate how high you want it to be based on that. Now, the easiest thing to do is, well, you, you grab your compass and you can pick a, a length that you want that to be. Uh, I don't know. I'm, maybe I at most want it to be that high. I don't know. All we're going to do is I'm going to establish some sort of a length. I'm going to say that's what my length is. And then I'm going to put the uh, non-pointy part on A, and I'm just going to draw an arc. I don't really care how big it is, whatever. Maybe it's not that strong. Holding the compass in the right way. Hope up, well, screwed up a little bit. Got to be careful. Got to be careful. There we go. That's a nice arc. And then after I draw that one, without changing the width of my compass, I'm going to draw a similar arc with the non-pointy end on B. So we'll do this. And again, if you're restricted by room, you might have to shorten up the length of your compass. But it shouldn't be that difficult. All right. So there we go. Two arcs. Arc one, arc two. Now we're creating a parallelogram which means, well, it doesn't have to go at a diagonal here, but we're going to try and make it for emphasis. And again, I can go back to the fact that I can make my parallelogram as tall or as short as I'd like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this first arc I drew and hopefully not drop my pencil. And I'm going to put a point, eh, let's just say here. Kind of arbitrary. I don't really care that much. And I'll call that C. And I'm like, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a line that's, I want to make a line that's parallel to this one, hence the name parallelogram. But I also, because it's a parallelogram and has the properties of a parallelogram, I need to ensure that that length of that line is the same as A to B. So to do that, that's where the compass comes back into the play, because the compass is fantastic in making sure we have side lengths that are congruent. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my compass, I'm going to put the one end on A and the other end on B, and by doing that, I know the length of that segment is however wide my compass ex is extended right now. So all I have to do to find out how to draw that line is I'll put the non-pointy end on C, and I'll draw a line, or an arc actually, that will intersect what uh, ended up being the second arc I drew. I'll call the intersection point D. And when I draw that line, connecting those two, that line should be parallel. I'll draw it a little longer just to emphasize, but I still have my points. And I'm a little askew, but we get the idea. That line is parallel to that one. And if I connect the dots correctly, and we want to make sure we're as appropriate as possible, I have constructed a parallelogram. Now again, if I wanted to make it shorter, you know what I'd probably do? I'd make my point C over here. 
I mean, it, I would still extend the compass the same width, and it would cross more over here, but it would still be a parallelogram. The good part about this method is any parallelogram between two people are probably going to be different because everyone's going to pick a different spot on this arc. Basic instruction technique.